visitors to American Battle Monuments Commission cemeteries sometimes wonder what is the difference between the service members who are buried beneath the white crosses and stars of David and those whose names appear here. We're standing in what are known as the walls of the missing. On the tablets you'll see inscribed the names of service members whose remains were never located. That can be for a variety of reasons. Uh, in some cases, the names reflect soldiers uh, whose remains are not identified. In some cases, they are airmen or sailors who were buried at sea uh, or perished in crashes over the ocean or in remote places. And so the walls and tablets of the missing list the names of service members whose final resting spot is unknown. The most common question from visitors who walk among the walls of the missing is about that little device, which ABMC refers to as a rosette. And if you walk through these halls, you'll see that there are three or four of those rosettes next to specific names. And what that denotes in the case of Sergeant Harold Lemons is that Sergeant Lemons' remains were recovered and identified. The Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, which is the government office that tries to locate and identify the remains of lost service members, was able to find uh, his body and to use DNA matching to identify those remains as his. And so his family would have received uh, his remains to bury at an ABMC cemetery or at a national cemetery or to bury in their own private cemetery rather than remove the tablet, um, try to fill in the name, ABMC applies this rosette here, which indicates that this is a soldier who is no longer missing and whose remains have been returned to family and loved ones. It is impossible to spend much time at an ABMC cemetery, and particularly in this part of the cemetery, which recognizes the missing, and without coming to a profound understanding of the way that the United States will move heaven and earth to try to identify and return the remains of people who have been lost to, to provide families with some uh, small way to assuage a part of the grief that they're feeling. Um, and it's really remarkable and there's no other country on earth that has gone to such extraordinary lengths to do that.